Good morning, Highlanders. Today is Tuesday, February 14th, and an A day. I'm Sloan Strudler. And I'm Lauren Flatt. Happy Valentine's Day, Highlands. The day when you spend the day with that special someone or eating chocolate by yourself on your couch. Which one are you, Sloan? You know, Lauren, I'll be sitting on my couch eating chocolate watching the Champions League. Aw, so romantic. Not. Anyways, let's start off this day of love with some quick hits, Highlands. The Highlands Boomerang Project will be opening their application process for next year. The two interest sessions will be on Wednesday and Thursday this week after school. Make sure to turn in your applications in order to attend the meetings. Extra help, the Highlands Help Tutoring Center provides free tutoring for all students in room 125 and 126. Sessions take place during both lunches and after school. More details can be found on the school website. A quick shout out from Mrs. Bump to the JV girls basketball team who is 13 and 4 this season. And finally, please note the library will be closed at 3.15 tomorrow as we host the North Jersey JV debate competition. Sloan? In tragic global news, a set of huge 7.8 magnitude earthquakes have left over 36,000 people dead and tens of thousands of people injured. In Turkey and some areas of Syria, the earthquake has left the countries in rubble and has torn apart cities and towns. After more than a week, hopes are dimming for rescue efforts. Now for a look at Highland Sports. James, what's the latest? Thanks, Sloan. Let's recap from Pasta Mania night when the girls basketball team dom dominated and defeated Paramus by a score of 48 to 26. Lauren Flatt and Emma Starr combined for 29 points. Huge congratulations to Emma for reaching 1,000 points. With a powerful first quarter, they took the lead and never looked back as they improved to 18-4. The boys team also won a third alert of 61-60. The swim team swam past Leonia on Monday night. Stellar performances from Grace Lee, Megan Rourke, and Jesse Wolf, who finished in first place in their races. With the win, they improved to 8-0 and await the winner of the Wayne Hills-Morris Hills match in the championship final this Thursday. Finally, the boys hockey team is off to the Big North semifinal round against PCTI. The game is Wednesday at the Ice Vault at 7.15. Be sure to come out and support us, and the winner will play either Mawa or Renapo in the Big North Gold Cup final. Now over to Cassie from the Weather Center. Cassie, give us our lovely weather update. Thanks, James, and good luck tomorrow night. The weather isn't too bad today. Good morning, Highlands. Here's your heart-shaped three-day forecast. Today, for all you sweethearts out there, we'll have cloudy skies with a high of 46 and a low of 30 degrees. Tomorrow, expect a high of 52 degrees and a low of 33, along with partly cloudy skies. And for Thursday, it will warm up a little bit, but grab your coats as we'll have develop showers developing throughout the day with a high of 54 degrees and a low of 42. That's the Lowdown Forecast. Back to you, Lauren. Thanks, Cassie. And finally today, as it's Valentine's Day, we went around asking students and faculty to share a special message to their special someone. Happy Valentine's Day, Chris Saudi. Happy Valentine's Day. We, we love, love Coach Bezzy. Happy Valentine's Day, Highlands. Hey, who's the guy in guidance? Will you be my Valentine? It's right around the corner. Mom, I love you. Thank you for giving birth to me. You feel me? Like, that's my Valentine. I love you, Mom and Dad. Thank you for everything. To my parents, my mom and dad. I love you guys. No, no, not in guidance, in wellness. Uh, my Valentines are all my friends. I want to say I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day, Ethan Mendel. Thanks, mom and dad, for everything you did. We, we love, love James, James Russo. Oh, yeah. How do you say his name? Mr. Hi, coach. Happy Valentine's Day. Just want to say we love you. Happy Valentine's Day, Carter Pataki. We're so grateful for you. <laughs> I got to give it up to uh, my Canadian girlfriend, Trinity. Uh, I love her. Happy Valentine's, Mr. Grabelski. Happy Valentine's Day, Highlands. Remember, you all have a special place in my heart. Wow. Those are some great messages. I want to say a special someone to my special someone. <laughs> and that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We will be back here next Thursday for another Lowdown Live. Have a great week in February break. And with that, happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day.
down. <laughs>